I've reviewed a couple of different Heaven's Door products on this channel in the past, and I've always been surprised at how much I like it. Tonight, up next, is Heaven's Door 10 here. Let's see how much I like this one. This is Heaven's Door, it's age 10 years. They call it the decade season. It's 100 proof, that's the sweet spot. Heaven's Door comes from Tennessee, but it does not use the Tennessee charcoal filtering process. So it's more of a traditional bourbon. This has over 20% rye in the mash bill and it's 10 years old. I picked this up rather recently, just based off of the fact that I found it for a good price out of state. And also based on the fact that I've liked a lot of Heaven's Door stuff. So I guess you could say that I had high hopes and it was even better than my hopes. But let's see how I enjoy it tonight. Every night's different. That is so like classic bourbon notes right away. I would say maybe it's got a little bit of a, a citrus that is making it a little bit different, but there's kind of a caramel, strong caramel base and then like a little bit of citrus. Definitely some barrel spice in there, but the age is not incredibly obvious from the nose, at least not off the jump. It is a beautiful nose. It is not overpowering. It's not exactly like grabbing, but it is just really, really solid and nice. There might be a bit of a floral thing in there as well. A really nice floral thing. Oh my gosh. The palette is where this shines. It opens with a nice light sweetness and it blooms into a spicy character, definitely kind of a barrel spice character. The finish is quick though. It's not one of these long drawn out finishes, but it fades off, doesn't leave anything dry at all. It does present with a lot of kind of a baking spice and those, you know, savory, spicy things make it pretty mouthwatering. Second sip, even spicier than the first. Classic spices. Probably some of the rye is contributing to that. We know it's a 20%, better than 20% rye mash build said. Yep, over 20%. Gotta be, but you're taking some of the rye spice and you're taking that 10 years of barrel aging, you're marrying them together in a wonderful balance. This is a killer bourbon. This is... This is really good. It's the Up Next series. So we compare tonight's bourbon, Heaven's Door 10, to last week's bourbon, which was Knob Creek 12 year. This is gonna be an interesting competition. I'm gonna even the pours and I'm gonna give it a spin because this is one, this is worth it. I do not think that this can fool me. I think these will be quite easy to tell apart, but those are some famous last words. And if you guys have watched the channel before, you've seen me attempt blinds in the past, and you know it doesn't always go very well. Okay, one of these appears darker than the other. I don't know which one that is, though. I'm starting with the glass on my left. That is beautiful. I think I'm picking up on the floral orange thing. Oh, that is delicious. Okay, let's move into the glass on my right. Oh yeah, no floral in this one. A Little bit of that magic marker thing. You remember that from the last episode? I was thinking that the peanuts would jump out, but they're not. I'm getting more of that magic marker thing. To be honest, it's not really shining. Okay, I mean, obviously that's the Knob Creek. That's the Heaven's Door. Question is, which do I like better? Okay, there is a lot more oak on the Knob Creek than there is on the Heaven's Door. In the video where I reviewed the Knob Creek, I talked about how I was surprised at the fact that I wasn't getting more oak. But comparing these two side by side, it is quite clear that the Knob Creek has more of an oak impact to it. But it does also, at least this one, has that astringent magic marker kind of almost acetone-y thing. And it doesn't have much else that happens in the palette to balance that out. And the Heaven's Door does. So in this comparison, it goes to the Heaven's Door. Heaven's Door Decade Series. Well, that's Heaven's Door Decade Series next week. Up next will be Barrel Vantage. 
This is a blend of straight bourbon whiskeys finished in Mizanaro French and toasted American oak. This is a very interesting bourbon. The comparison's gonna be ridiculous. That's next week, so tune in next week for that. And this has been another Up Next, another episode of The Whiskey Closet. Thank you so much for watching. Hey, leave a comment about what you would like me to taste in a future Up Next series. I'd appreciate that. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.